Hi Gemini, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your May 2020 tarot check for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I just want to thank all of you who've been watching my channel, liked, subscribed, and shared my videos. You're awesome and I so appreciate you. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified when new videos are posted, which is about every week. So next week I'll be back for a weekly tarot check. And a few days ago, I posted a seasonal tarot check for the months of May, June, July, August. So you might want to check that out. Um, we had some pretty doom and gloom weekly readings with just a lot of unstable energy. So the, the seasonal tarot checks were kind of a relief. So anyway, here we go. This is for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Gemini. May 2020. All right, your current, whoops, current situation is the Five of Wands, and the influences around it are the Two of Swords. Your destiny is the Three of Wands, and behind you is the Queen of Cups, and the more recent past, the Two of Pentacles. Coming towards you, you have the Page of Swords. You're represented by the Knight of Swords. The environment around you is the Four of Wands. Your, dest or your hopes here is the Page of Cups, and then in the... Um, the outcome, you've got the Eight of Wands there, but as a bottom of the deck clarifier, you've got the Wheel of Fortune here. So let's talk a little bit about the cards. You've got fire, you've got earth, air, water. Um, you've got all the elements, and the only major arcana you have is the Wheel of Fortune. So um, you certainly could be dealing with a fire sign here. I'm getting that for some of you, that it's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, but you're, you've got... You know, you're having a hard time here with somebody. There's conflict here, but there's also change coming, okay? Because the Five of Wands is all about change. Um, so the Two of Swords here is definitely a card of indecision. You know, you are not sure what to do, um, just kind of stuck, stuck up in your head and not seeing a lot of other options. Um, so for some of you, it may be a job-related situation, or it may also be a relationship where you feel kind of trapped because of money. Um, and I'm getting for somebody that they are, they're living with somebody, but they're doing online, they're, you know, online dating sites. And like, even because they know they're not going to meet anybody right now, they're just looking for attention. And I don't know if that's you or the other person. But for somebody, Gemini, that's definitely happening where, you know, they're getting messages every day and kind of sneaking around um, behind somebody's back. But, um, you know, with this, again, it's about change. So um, even though you don't know what path to take right now, that's not clear. It will make itself known sooner than later. Um, so, again, with this Two of Wands here, just to kind of talk about that a little bit more. Um, you're at a crossroads, you know, um, definitely, like I said, confusion and decision, just not quite knowing what to do. I do feel like for some of you, you've had some kind of a falling out, like um, an argument. There was definitely a disagreement of ideas that, and, and words too, but, and it's kind of like this person is just, um, sitting there unwilling to even talk, very stubborn energy very stubborn um and you also too for some of you this could be with a water sign um so pisces cancer scorpio because this is like a very watery energy too it's a it's you know even though it's indecision all that water is it's strong emotion you know um so your destiny here you've got this three of wands coming up and you know so it's um definitely a card of choosing a path um you're going to be on a life path that is going to become clearer i think in the month of may but i also think that you're taking a different path i think with this five of wands i think what was before you know before march seemed it almost feels mundane like you were kind of in the grind of something with a relationship and i do think for some of you that's going to be ending um but there's new stuff coming in i mean you definitely have lump coming towards you but you're going to have to you are going to have to complete a cycle with somebody in order for that to happen. Um, so in the past, I do feel like there was a lot of love around you. It was very nurturing. You may be somebody too, where you just had a really great childhood. You have a really great family system, 
Um, and again, this is the more distant past. So I, I feel like you were nurtured. I also think in this relationship too, um, it was nurturing. Um, but I, at some point that changed and it may have been two. You've got this two, you've got two twos here. You've got this two of pentacles and this is like analysis paralysis. Um, this is the more recent past. And again, I think that's the current energy too of just trying to juggle things like if it was career and this relationship and not really feeling it, not really knowing what to do and kind of feeling trapped on this roller coaster. It's not a great energy. It's like a very exhausting energy to be in. Um, you may have found um, with this page of swords, you may have been snooping around and found some things out too about this person where they were also, again, I keep getting this internet thing where somebody's online, uh, they're on dating sites secretively and wanting attention, not necessarily going out and meeting anybody, but it's really dishonest behavior. It's like very sneaky kind of behavior. Um, but with this page of swords, there's definitely communication. And I think, I do think there's gonna be an ending. I think there's going to be uh, finality about this, but it's going to bring in some really great things that wouldn't come otherwise because they were being blocked. The energy and the frequency wasn't a match. And so walk free from it, Gemini, because when you do that, things are going to change and they're going to change, um, for the better. You know, you have, you're represented by this Knight of Pentacles. So if you're worried about money, source or spirit is telling you, you don't need to be, you've got an offer coming in here that is going to bring a lot of financial stability. Now, some of you too um, might be aware of money coming forward and you're trying to get away from this person because you know they're going to be broke and you don't want them to, I hate to say this, but you don't want to be tied to them financially and have to bail somebody else out that you know is not going to be a long-term situation. But you do have long-term commitment coming in. Um, and I think, I think that it's going to take a little bit of time to approach you, um, it, and it might be slow, but there's definitely a commitment coming. Some of you, too, might be given a promotion at work. Like I said, I feel like you have financial stability and more money coming through that you may need to be cautious around. Um, so the energy environment around you is the Four of Wands, okay? And this is about bringing manifestations to the 3D world. It's a great law of attraction card. So those of you that are looking around and saying, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. This is not, you know, this person isn't leveling up. They turned into a puddle during this and you're going, what would happen if, you know, we had a personal crisis? How would they respond? They couldn't handle any of this or they just turned into a complete sloth and you're going, I want something more. Well, you can have it. The energy is right for it with this four of wands. This is a marriage card. It's an 11, it's the 1111 card um, and so it's a, a time for you to really get clear on your intentions. Um, but you know, again, it's about two people coming together. Um, so I do feel like your manifestations are coming and you're, you're on the right path. You may have had kind of a stepping stone back here that's launching you forward. You got another offer. This is with the page of cups. Now this can be about an X. So it's possible somebody from the past could come back who um, brings you an offer. And this is also a manifestation. I mean, you've got a lot of manifestation cards coming in, um, which is wonderful to see because the reading started off kind of dark and dreary, didn't it? Um, but I do feel like this is a person who's very empathic. Um, they're very creative. And it's, again, it's about something that's already manifesting. And I do feel like they're... Um, they're just, it's a very sweet kind of energy, a very soft energy coming through, um, just a beautiful energy. So um, you've got this eight of wands and this is communication. It's quick communication. It's delivering you a message. Um, it's a very exciting time. You are headed into such an exciting time. So brace for some change because sometimes it comes in and it really blows your hair back and kind of knocks you off balance. But um, ideas are coming in communication and projects. So again, I feel like some of you could be given a promotion. There may be people who leave at your work that were unhappy for a while. And this was kind of the catalyst just to say, I need a different situation and they leave and you go forward. 
um, into a role that was previously occupied by somebody else. So again, um, this Eight of Wands is like a very reciprocal energy too. It's a back and forth kind of communication. So if you haven't been in communication with somebody, they may come through. Um, but there's definitely a spark here. There is a huge spark. So this Wheel of Fortune, this is a conclusion of a cycle. Like I said, I think for some of you, a relationship is going to be ending, but a new one will be there. Um, it's, you know, it's a 10, it's a conclusion. It also offers, though, a bit of luck. So the Wheel of Fortune is always turning on your side. It's for you. It's certainly not a card to bring, you know, anything, any kind of heartache or, or um sorrow or anything like that. It's not a card of suffering, um, but it's a card of enlightenment. So with every every cycle that we go through, there's an enlightenment that happens and you may have been going through yours. Um, this is also too representative of fixed signs. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus, or a Scorpio, it could be something about them. It's definitely though, you've got a good luck charm in here, especially as a clarifier. So I really love that. And then we're going to have just a uh, Life Loves You, Louise Hay card as a message. And a lot of these are mantras, so this may be a special message for you to repeat during the month of May. I follow my joy. Your thoughts influence the kind of day you'll have. Name three ways that you could make today even more enjoyable than you thought it was going to be. So there's your homework. Think of three things that you could do um, because life loves you and the universe is here to bring you gifts. So I love you, Gemini, and I will be back in about a week for a weekly tarot check.